Hey guys, this is Elk Springs Maintenance. We're here to give you a quick video for your troubleshooting TV issues. First step is to find the TV remote control. In this case, it's an Xfinity remote control. Most of our cabins use Xfinity. So once you find the remote control, they may vary in sizes. You want to push the power button or power on. So after we push that button, it should light up the Xfinity box, green, and you should see the TV illuminate and light up. The next step, you're trying to find cable. You want to go back to that remote control and select your TV input. So find input or source on the remote control. In this case, it's in the top right hand corner. Select that and let the TV go through each source. Give it a few seconds between each one. So the cable is not on TV. We'll try HDMI 1. Give it a couple seconds, nothing there. We'll select it again to HDMI 2. We see that it lights up. There's the cable. At this point, you found which cable input it is. So you can change channels, turn the volume up and down, etc. Next, if you're trying to watch a DVD Blu-ray on the same remote control, you want to find the source. But you will to power on the DVD player first. So find your DVD player remote. You want to push the power button. You'll see that our Vizio DVD player turns on. You'll go back to your TV remote control at the source input and select it and let it change sources until you see the DVD screen. Remember to give it a couple seconds in each source just to make sure that it's, it's booting up. We see the changes, there's our Blu-ray. You'll be able to control, play, stop, pause, next, everything from your DVD remote control. We, please, we hope this video helps you and we hope you have a great stay. Thanks.